Hey, what's happening guys? One of the things I always get asked when I talk about different pieces of test equipment is how would you use it in a real world scenario? So here is the uh, QLS 2800 function generator we looked at a few days ago. And one of the things that you can use a function generator for is injecting a signal, in fact, injecting a sweeping signal into a filter to test it out. So you can see right here, function mode, we're running a sweep from 1 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz over 10 seconds. And you can actually see the frequency is changing right there. So that's what we got going on. We're just running a little sweep here over 10 seconds. And what I'm running it into is a simple low pass filter, which you see right here. So our low pass filter is of course a resistor and a capacitor running to ground. Now this particular resistor, orange, orange, black, that would be 330 ohms. And the capacitor is a 104, so that's 0.1 microfarad. So let's take a look at the calculations for a low pass filter and we'll figure out where it should be. So again our low pass filter is a resistor and a capacitor that goes to ground that is our V out. That is our V in. So when we run our signal in here, we'll run signal here and also to ground. And then our formula for figuring it out is what uh, FC equals. So frequency cutoff is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times RC. And then our R is, uh, of course, 330 ohms, and our C is 0.1 micro. Farad. Of course, you need to translate those into a farad, but you know, you can do that yourself. But anyway, if we work on this for a couple seconds and do the math, and I'll leave you to do that yourself, we are going to get a cutoff frequency that's pretty close of uh, 48, 22.87. Seven, seven. And that will, of course, be our positive pole and our negative pole will be minus 48.22.877. And what that is going to be is what's called our minus 3 dB point. That's where we have cut the power in half. Okay? So there is our low pass filter and the blue lead the one here is for our input and the yellow lead is on the output and then if we take a look up here on the scope let me turn out these lights so we can see a little better here. Uh oh, what I knock loose. There we go. The yellow is our output, the blue is our input. And you can oh, come on. Play work with me here. There we go. You can see as the frequency is sweeping, once we reach about four point eight now you can see how it cuts the power down until when we reach five, it's almost completely gone. So here, let me, uh, let me adjust this here a little bit. Oh, we're already up to 10, so that's fine. 
I'll tell you what, I'll adjust it anyway. Uh, we'll, we'll stop our output there. Then we'll come up. I said stop. There we go. Then we'll come up here to our end frequency. And we'll take it up to 20 kilohertz. Now we'll come back over here and you can look at it again. And this should just give you a longer point where the filtering is to have a look. There you go. And you can see how that is completely cut down when we get up to about 20. You can also see the phase change here in the signals. We're starting out at about 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees. Now here's our cut at 60 degrees, all the way up to 70 degrees and 80 degrees before it resets and goes back. So I hope this was a little bit helpful to you guys because like I said I'm always being asked what is a real world use for these test equipment well that is a simple real real world use for a function generator you can use it to sweep filters so if you enjoyed this video I hope that you will uh, give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to you guys for watching that's it I'm out. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate the support of everybody who donates via Patreon or PayPal. And another way to help out the channel is to buy things from the Amazon store. There's a link down below. It doesn't cost you anything, and I make a few pennies. We have some fun here, so please feel free to comment on any video. Your comments are always welcome. And you can email me at arduino0169 at gmail.com.